Herman Miller is the most recognizable office chair brand in the world, but it might be their most unrecognizable chair, the Veris chair, that presents the best value out of any chair in their lineup. For starters, it only costs $735 when fully loaded. Now, I know $735 isn't a small amount of money, but it's less than half the price of an Aeron or Embody and a couple hundred dollars less than a sale. Even though it's much lower in price, you're still getting a Herman Miller chair. It doesn't feel quite as nice as the previously mentioned chairs, but it's still solid, especially compared to the other options at this price point. The components are good quality and there's almost no play. The arms, back, and seat all feel solid and the chair feels very well put together. You also get the backing of Herman Miller's 12-year warranty. The Varus may be half the price of an Aeron, but they both get the same coverage from Herman Miller. Aside from Steelcase, you're not going to find another chair in this price range with a warranty like Herman Miller offers. I like the seat on the Varus quite a bit. The one major drawback is no seat depth adjustment. Now for me, this isn't a huge issue just because it fits me really well at 5'9", and I do think that it would be fine for people down to about 5'6", and up to about 6'1", but if you're out of those ranges, the seat's probably going to be a little bit too deep or a little bit too shallow. Now aside from the potential seat depth issue, I think the seat is really good. This is one of the few padded seat options from Herman Miller, and I like this one the best. It's softer than the Lino and more spacious than the Sail. It doesn't have overly thick padding, it's still on the firm side, but I do like that you sink into it a bit more than the other two options. I also think the Varus' seat is more comfortable than the Aeron Mirror 2 or Cosm, because you don't have to deal with a hard, restrictive plastic edge that come with that mesh seat design. Out of Herman Miller's entire lineup, I think only in the Embody has a more comfortable seat from my experience. The backrest is a similar story to the seat for me. Overall, I think it's very good without any major glaring drawbacks. I like the mesh material they use. This shouldn't be too shocking. Herman Miller has the best mesh in the world on the Aeron chair. The mesh on the Varus isn't quite on that level, but I think it's close. It has great elasticity, and it's not as abrasive as the low quality products that we bring in. You sink into the mesh a bit, but I don't sink all the way in so that I feel the plastic frame on my back and shoulders. The size of the backrest gives good coverage all the way up through my upper back and shoulders, and it provides good support all the way down through my lumbar area with a similar lumbar support system that we see on chairs like the Lino, Vantam, and Aeron. It is hard plastic, so it won't have the same quality as the Aeron, but it does have a pivot function built in, which helps to get it positioned comfortably for each individual using the chair. The supported region is quite narrow, but I'm not a fan of overly aggressive lumbar systems, so I like this system a lot. You also get some height adjustment to ensure that you can get it properly positioned. Finally, the plastic plastic frame does allow for a little bit of flexibility in the chair. It's nowhere near chairs like the Embody, but it's definitely better than the Lino and Aeron, and I'm a big fan of chairs that allow you to move and stretch easier in your chair. The Varus comes with a synchro tilt recline mechanism. It's good quality, offers a nice range, and is very smooth to use. This is another area where I do not feel you are going to find a nicer recline function for the price. The backrest goes fully upright and can lock in that position. You then get four additional tilt limiter positions. Chairs in this price range typically have tilt lock, which locks the chair in one specific position. I think the limiter function is a higher end option that provides more movement when you are working. You also get a tension control system that's similar to the Lino. Instead of it just being an infinite dial, you get seven different choices, and the knob clicks into each position. This gives you a wide range of options, but also gives you the ability to easily click to a tension setting you are familiar with instead of fine-tuning a knob in either direction until you find something that works for you. The arms are another area that I'm impressed with on the Varus. Something that is pretty common now on chairs in the $700 and under range are arms that have play in them just due to the parts not fitting perfectly together. This is not the case with the Varus. If I'm being honest, the arms on the Varus are more solid than my Hayworth Fern chair, which sells for well over $1,000. They also have good adjustability. They have three-way adjustment, height, width, and depth. The adjustment ranges are all very generous. Oftentimes we'll see chairs in this price range that have four-way adjustment, but the ranges don't accommodate everyone because they are so limited. The Varus offers good ranges on all three of its adjustments, which really gives you a lot of freedom to put them in different positions. The arm caps are the one area on the chair where it feels a bit cheap, but they're still a better version of the Lino because they're softer. While they don't feel as nice as the Aeron, Embody, or even Sail, I do still find them to be comfortable and haven't had an issue using them for eight plus hours in a day. It's hard for me to think of many chairs that are on the same level as the Varus for around this $700 mark, and it's really hard for me to argue that another Herman Miller chair in their lineup provides more value than the Varus does at $700.